Would you like to see me unboxing Lisa Eldridge's new eye palette and try one of her new lipsticks and lip pencils? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you her new Myth palette and how I created this makeup look using that palette and trying on the lipstick pompadour and the lip pencil as well. I cannot tell you how excited I was when my Lisa Eldridge box arrived. Oh my gosh. I put a reminder in my phone last Friday, and it's just over a week ago, so I'm filming the Saturday after the Friday at four o'clock when um, the palettes were released. And I completely forgot because I was away at a spa with some girlfriends and I only noticed, I think it was about 10 o'clock at night, that I hadn't ordered what I intended to order anyway. Luckily, I managed to get my order in and the box arrived this Wednesday. As I say, it's Saturday today. I am terrible at opening boxes, by the way, but actually, helpfully, it's got a nice opening thingy down the side. Ooh, wait a minute. It just... Oh, I'm so weedy at this, honestly. Oh, talk about unboxing. <laughs> I'm going to make a pig here. Oh, there we are. That's okay. Right, so here we are. Sorry, everything's back to front because I'm using my phone. And here it is, all nice and wrapped in tissue paper. So a nice big wadge of tissue paper, which always comes in handy, I find, when you're selling on eBay. Oh, look! got the pouch which is a free gift if you buy three products I believe or a minimum of three products we've got the lip pencil we've got the eye palette and where's the lipstick okay I think it must be in the yeah it feels like it's in the pouch let's have a look god how beautiful is this and it's all velvety oh and here is the lipstick beautifully wrapped inside more tissue paper so we have got the pouch, which as I say is free with three or more products. We've got the eye palette, this one here. And we've got the lip pencil. I've never bought a lip pencil from Lisa before, so really looking forward to trying that. Now, just to let you know, as you can see, in fact, I do have some makeup on. I have the Lisa Eldridge foundation in the shade 14. I have some brow pencil on, I have some concealer on, and I have some blusher on, and that's it, because we are going to be trying one of the eyeshadow palettes, a new lipstick and the new eye pencil. So there are five palettes that Lisa has brought out, her very first eyeshadow palette. So let me briefly tell you about the palette. So I did some research, obviously I watched her video last week to decide which one I was going to be ordering last Friday. And to be honest, there were probably about three or two others that I could have picked. There's the Cinnabar palette that has earthy tones, which I thought would be a little bit too warm for me. There's the Sorcery palette, which was definitely not for me, although beautiful, but I think it was definitely has this sort of medieval vibe. And you can imagine a medieval dressed woman with a sort of greeny blue hues that would be just too cool for my skin and probably not right for somebody of my age, unless you've got very dramatic features like really dark hair and dark eyebrows. Now, the Muse palette I was drawn to, actually, because it's got those sort of pinky honey tones that sort of as she calls it monochromatic look and that's the kind of palette that I'm drawn to it's the sort of Charlotte Tilbury vibe in a way so I thought well let's not choose a palette that I always go for because to be honest I've got so many palettes with similar colours I thought I would go something different so I decided not to get the Muse although actually I do have the Velvet Muse lipstick funnily enough. Now I know you're waiting for me to get to the Bloomin' palette that I chose and it is Myth and let me tell you a little bit before I show it to you what Lisa says about it. She says, adorn your eyes with a rich synergy of decadent colour from lavender grey and smoked amethyst to pure violet. I think she had me at pure violet. Now she's taken her inspiration for what she calls the mauve decade, which I believe was the mid 1800s to the turn of the 20th century, where these sort of violety, mauvey, lavendery hues were incredibly popular and another reason why I chose a palette that had violet in it is because my mother's first name was Violet she was Violet Maxine and she was named after a Lady Bountiful as it were of the early 1900s Lady Violet Mon who was married to a rich industrialist and who sponsored young children who were talented in music I believe as was my grandmother and my grandmother was one of the children she supported to train as an opera singer and I think my grandmother decided to name her daughter, her only child, my mother, 
after Lady Violet Mon, so she was called Violet Maxine. But I think she gave up the Violet quite early on and decided to be Maxine. Anyway, so I've always had a soft spot for violets. So without further ado, let's open the box. And here it is, a beautiful white box with gold lettering and Lisa's emblem on it. Oh, wow, look at this palette. Now, what's interesting is here, I mean, she is extremely good at packaging, isn't she? So this is a smooth side and this is the ridge side. I don't know if you can see, let me come closer. It's so beautiful with her logo here. And on the back, you've helpfully got all the colours, which I will go through in a moment. Oh, wow. And look, there's the mirror and there are the colours. And let me just tell you what the colours are before we swatch them. So going from my left, your right, top line, we've got Nocturama, which is a velvet. Then we have Illusionism, which is a top coat. Then we have Mauve Decade, which is a velvet. Then at the bottom, starting on the bottom, your bottom left, my bottom right, we have Faded Amethyst, followed by Victorian Trim in the middle bottom, and then Violet Stone. Just in case I was talking complete BS before about the order of colours, I think she's got them slightly round the wrong way, unless it's me being a dork, because she's got Nocturama here, which is the darkest one. But actually, when you open the palette, I've probably screwed this up completely. That's Nocturama there, this darkest colour. And yet, if you turn it this way round, that says it's Mauve Decade. Right, so this is the darkest one, and we're going to say this is the deep black and violet. That feels absolutely beautiful. So this is a deep black and violet Nocturama. Then we have Illusionism. Now this is a top coat, this one here. Let me use a different finger. Now this can be used as a top coat on top of any shade, really. I'm not sure I'm getting that quite... Right, but obviously it's a top coat, so you're not going to see a massive amount of pigment. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Then we have Mauve Decade, this one, which is a muted grey lavender. They do feel incredibly creamy. Oh, wow. And that has got a sort of a shimmer on the top of it as well. Then we have Faded Amethyst, this one here. Oh, that's got a lot. Of, wow, that's got a lot of pigment in it. Look at that. Oh, wow. Gosh, this is such a party palette, I would say, wouldn't you? I know you can't. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> do you know what I've done? <laughs> I've covered up the um, illusionism. I've covered up illusionism. So let me just swatch that again. Otherwise, we're going to lose it. The thing is, it's so incredibly light. It's difficult to see it on my arm, but that's it there. It is quite pinky, so let's just pop it down here. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I covered it up with that middle one. Right, so we've got four there. Right, so we've got two more to go. Victorian Trim, which is this one here. Beautiful, beautiful. Described as rich brown velvet mulberry. Oh, wow. So that's Victorian Trim a violet mulberry, and finally we've got violet stone, which is this one here. Oh wow, another beautiful, yes, that's very violet, that is. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, we've got them all. So let's, let's just recap, because <laughs> I slightly got them out of order. That's illusionism. Then we've got nocturama. Then we've got Mauve Decade. Then we've got Faded Amethyst, Victorian Trim and Violet Stone. So I'm going to try a soft look as suggested by Lisa on her video and then we might amp it up a bit at the end. So I've got some makeup on but I haven't got any eye makeup on at all. So in her video Lisa suggests starting with Mauve Decade which is a kind of a neutrally light mauvey colour I would say so this one so I'm just going to apply that with my fingers as she has done in her video actually I mean I must admit as I get older 
I am finding it much easier to apply, particularly on my lid, if I'm just doing a sort of one and done or just a kind of base shade, to use my fingers because as you can see, I mean, look how wrinkly my eyelids are. And with a brush, it's really difficult or with any kind of applicator, to be honest, it's really difficult. What you have to do, to be honest, is pull your lid taut so that you can get a colour on it. I can't really see terribly well how I'm doing, so I'm going to have to put my glasses on and make my mirror more amplified. The trouble is I've got one eye, which one is it? This one I think is distance and this one is reading. So it does kind of skew things a little bit when I'm trying to make myself up. Okay, there we are. So we've got some colour on the lids. Then Lisa takes violet stone, which is this colour here, and puts it at the corner of her eyes. So let me try and do that. I'm trying to replicate her brushes. I don't actually have any of her brushes. They look lovely though, and I'm quite tempted, given the difficulty I have of getting brushes from America here with the most ridiculous shipping costs. I'm just not inclined to do it. But I do have some decent brushes, to be honest. In fact, this one is, because I can't read it. I will put all the details down below for you. Right, let's see if we can buff this in. There has been no fallout to date, which is very good, but I wouldn't really expect that from Lisa anyway. One of the things she's been saying about these palettes is they're really easy to blend. She says that they blend themselves. Not sure that's going to be the case in my case. But anyway, let's see if it does blend easily. And we'll get a blending brush. I'm going to use this one, which is a Sephora I got in the summer. I must say I'm absolutely loving the look of these colours so far. Next thing Lisa does is she takes Nocturama, the darkest colour, and lines the upper lash line. with. So that's what we're going to do. Lovely soft black actually. It might look blacker in the palette than it actually is. Look. I think that's a beautiful colour. Let me just get a bit more on the brush. And I'm just going to add a little bit of Illusionist on the... Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, look, isn't that gorgeous? Right, look at that. I think that looks really partyish and gorgeous, but muted. That's what I like about it. It's not too strong. The colours are pigmented and they are beautiful, but actually on application, maybe because I've been a little bit careful, they are muted. They suit my colouring. They suit my age, my mature skin. I'm really, really loving them. So let me go off camera, put my mascara on, then we'll come back and do the lipsticks. Right, on to lipsticks then. And I have got Velvet Pompadour. I love that name. It just conjures up sort of... Louis the Sixteenth white wigs and Marie Antoinette. I mean, not that she was somebody to be admired, but she certainly looked very beautiful in that sort of whole period. Actually, it's interesting because I tend to call the room that I'm filming in my boudoir because there's just the two of us in the house and I'm lucky enough to have a sort of dedicated room for getting dressed in, which I also use to film as well. And I do call it my boudoir. So it sort of fits in with the whole pompadour thing. Anyway, let's have a look at the lipstick and the lip pencil as well. So here's the lipstick, comes in the beautiful box. Now I already have six of Lisa Eldridge's lipsticks and lip gloss as well, but I don't have this one. Choosing shades online is so difficult, isn't it? It really is hard. But having read the blurb about Pompadour and it said, let me just tell you what it said. It said, a fresh, lively, medium pink with neutral undertones. I think that is me. I am, well, Lively pink is slightly scary for me because, again, I was talking about tones and um, neutral kind of soft tones being better for mature skin, in my opinion, or certainly for me anyway. But it's a neutral undertone and it says gives a flush of Rococo romance to lips and cheeks. So you can use it on your cheeks. I do have a blusher on today, but um, I could try some on my cheeks. Truly worthy of the gossipy corridors of the Palace of Versailles. Très bien. So let's give it a go. First, we will swatch it. Ooh, now these velvet lipsticks, I don't know whether you've actually tried any before, but they do absolutely look like velvet. My only slight concern about this is it might be a bit, as I would call, orangey for me, but let's give it a go. Oh, I don't know though. It's hard to say. The proof of the pudding will be putting it on my lips. So let's give that a go. And worst case scenario, I do find that actually, as we've had to be buying cosmetics online so much over the past couple of years, that actually you can just mix 
if one of them isn't quite right, you can just mix it with another one that is right and you get a different sort of tone, don't you? And let's see. And just to let you know, I didn't get Velvet Myth, the lipstick, because it's very dark. It's a dark purpley colour. So I didn't want to get a lipstick that was too dark, because I just don't think it suits me. I used to go full Bieber back in the day. I do quite like it. I can't say I'm mad about it on me, but it does remind me of Sunday Matinee, which is this one. In fact, let's swatch it. Let's swatch them both. So this is that Sunday matinee. Oh yeah, actually, to be fair, that does look slightly, I don't know, pinkier maybe? I'm not sure. Hmm. It's a bit lighter anyway. I think it's a nice colour. I'm just not sure perhaps whether it goes with my eye colour. But let's get the pencil. I mean, they do feel beautiful on the lips. Right, here's the pencil. Ah, oh, there we are. Let's swatch a bit of that. Oh, lovely and creamy. That's the Velvet Pompadour pencil, just here. And let's just hide that. Actually, do you know what? I think it does look rather nice. And I do think that what we'll do is we'll add a little bit of the Pompadour to the cheeks just to see how it looks on that. And it might bring the whole look together. You know what? I think that really does work, actually. I don't know whether I've blended it that beautifully, but you can see actually it has got a really lovely hue and I do think it works well with the lipstick. And I think it is actually working with the eyes. So what's my verdict? Well, I think the palette is absolutely beautiful. The colours are stunning. There's been no fallout. They have been easy to blend, although on my crinkly eyelids, it's not as easy as it might be on someone with slightly smoother ones. But I do think the look is really lovely. And I will definitely be using it over the coming months. I think it's a great colour story for winter, for the party season. And I'm going to experiment more with the different colours and see what sort of looks I can create. And in terms of the lipstick and lip colour, it's funny, I was a little bit hesitant when I first swatched it. I thought, oh, I don't know if that's going to suit me. But actually, I do think it looks really nice. And I think particularly using the lipstick as a blusher as well. I think it works really well on my lips and the pencil is lovely as well, very creamy. So all in all, very delighted with the Lisa Eldridge Myth Eye Palette, the Pompadour Lipstick and the Pompadour Lip Pencil. Now, let me know, what do you think? Have you managed to get hold of the Lisa Eldridge palettes yet? Are you going to try them and which one are you going to try? And one of the great things about the palette is you can buy little individual colours to swap out some of the colours in this particular palette. I think there are a couple of colours in one or two of the other palettes that I could get as extras, which I might well do at some point. So there you have it. I really hope this video has been helpful. You've enjoyed seeing me unbox and try out the Myth palette and the lipstick and lip pencil as well. And let me know in the comments below, do you think they suit me? Do you like the look of these colours? Will you be trying any of them? I'd love to know. And thank you so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me. It really, really does. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye.